Hi, Dr. Rubini. Hi, Jess. And I've also been experiencing, I've had it in the past, like a pain near my tailbone and my pelvis. And then my hips get really tight, like it feels locked. So because of my hip dysplasia, like I always have that popping in my hip. Mm -hmm. So sometimes like even in the night, I find like shooting pain okay right. um just a quick question from last time i know when you were here we, we kind of worked on the hip dysplasia issue um all the hip pain you have so how did you feel after the adjustment i felt great like it felt a lot looser mm -hmm. and it lasted quite a while after okay. and i kept up with stretches and stuff mm -hmm. um more so here in this area okay. um but it's still kind of tight or it's if i'm walking for a prolonged period of time okay so so why don't we just go into the adjustment room and we're gonna get started okay, okay. so i'm gonna do a quick screening like a little assessment and then we'll do the adjustment okay great great right. okay so jess i'm just gonna do uh go over your spine and kind of check everything before i start okay. adjusting you okay Okay, bring your hands right on the side. Good. Okay, you feel it uh, more on the right side, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drop your arms down to the floor. Take a nice deep breath in and all the way out. Okay, so I'm going to have your right side up. So you're going to go on your, this one down, yeah. Palpating this area in her right um, hip joint, it's the, her her muscles are pretty tight in there. And the ligaments, you feel everything's super tight. Okay, so good. So I've been experiencing uh, more so in the past month. Uh, jaw pain so I clench my jaw when I sleep and um, I find that I'm even doing it when I'm watching TV okay so it leads me to headache right and a lot of tension right in here and it even goes all the way to my neck and shoulders okay do you have any um, numbness or tingling also going down your neck and shoulders no I okay. just find that sometimes it's like a little bit of shooting pain okay on my neck or it's like a feeling of like I want to like crack okay so I'm just going to have you, just do a quick test, um, just open up your mouth, I just want to see how there's any tension. Do you have any pain with that? No. Okay, just open up again. It just okay. feels tight. It feels tight. Where does it feel tight? Right, right in the back. Okay. You can see her jaw is deviating. See how it's going to her right, to mm -hmm. the lower part of the... Yeah, I could feel it when I opened yes. my mouth. Yes, yeah. Yep. Okay, so let's see. The C3 is definitely out on the right side. C2 is one on the left. So that's just one. Yeah. So you said you have more tightness on your left jaw or right jaw? It's more mainly on like 
this, the right side, okay? So, but as I'm palpating here, I can feel more her left side. Her masseters are super tight on that left side compared yeah. to the right. Can you feel that there? Yeah. yeah. This side is not that bad, but this one's definitely... What I'm doing, I'm just releasing the tension. So I'm going to have you slowly open your mouth. Just slowly. Good. And then relax. And you don't want to push too hard because this area is... If you go too hard, you can have... She can have experience headache afterwards, so you don't want that. How is that pressure? It feels really good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have you open up your jaw again. And close. One more time open. And close. Nice. Okay, open up again. And close. One more time. I've had I had braces on for seven years. Oh, I see. Okay. And a jaw expander on the bottom and top for like a year of that time. So mm -hmm. open up again and close. That feels definitely better. Can you feel the difference? Yeah. It's not, well, the jaw is not deviating as much as like smoother. Yeah, it's smoother. Yeah. Do the adjustment. Typically, when I find that when I uh, work on, on the patient's jaw, it's much much easier to adjust the neck because most of the muscles loosen up, and sometimes you don't even need to adjust the neck anymore because everything loosens up in the neck as well. So, in her case, her C3 on the right side and C2 on the left side, still a little bit off there, but definitely feels better than it was. feels a lot better. It's funny you massage the left side, but mm -hmm. my right side feels relief from yeah. the massage. Yes. So basically well the, um, the trigger point release on the left side helps to relax the muscles so there's no pull on the other side of the jaw. Okay. Okay. So you're all done there. So take your time to sit up. Okay. Good. And turn around to the left. Mm -hmm. Let's double check everything there. Readjust. So after the adjustment, my jaw just feels like a world of a difference. It feels like it's so much smoother, like a gliding. As of before, it's almost like a grinding and like you can hear it with in my ears. So now I just feel so much more smooth and relaxed and my jaw is able to actually position in the spot where I feel like it should instead of me forcing it all the time.